Hey there, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, we are going to take a look at a um, cool plugin which is called 2011 theme extension. So what this plugin does is actually help you to uh, customize your 2011 theme in a very simple way. So if you use the default theme of WordPress 2011 theme or uh, even the chart theme, this plugin might be very helpful and very handy. So uh, for now, we're going to close this window and working with our demo block. So if I visit my demo block for now, I just see the default uh, things that WordPress give me after installation. You see that uh, this block is basically what you get after installing WordPress in, um, except this text, which actually I ate it. But uh, the rest is just the default thing that um, uh, WordPress gave me after installing WordPress. So. Uh, we go back to our dashboard and go to uh, install plugins for now. Um, in that case, we go to plugins here and click add new button. And here we're going to type in 2011 uh, theme extension. Right? And then going to hit search plugins button. It should be the first row and then uh, the best practice you always click on details and read there and um, you will find any information about the plugins for example like the compatibility and the rating and the warning of course that uh, this plugin is actually not yet tested with uh, this uh, WordPress version that I'm using now. Uh, in my personal experience I always test the plugin that I want to install in my local blog in my computer so if you want you can check out my other tutorials which is installing WordPress on Mac Lion or in uh, Windows 7 or um, any other tutorials that I created so um, I always install uh, WordPress that WordPress plugin that I want to try in that blog offline blog and if everything's fine I'm going to install it in my uh, of online blog so uh, we are not going to do this in this tutorial but for now we're just going to install it so going to click install now button and now you can activate the plugin so I'm just going to hit activate plugin button and you see that now this plugin is actually activated to see this plugin um, settings you go to appearance and theme extension but first now we're going to take a look at theme option so this is the theme uh, the 2011 theme options by default you just can change the link color and nothing else except of these two but now if we go to theme extensions tab here that actually the plugins uh, setting you see that now you can actually do a lot of things here uh, the first thing that you will notice is the custom colors so if you enable these custom colors and save changes and going to uh, back to theme options now you will see a lot of options here that you can do that uh, by default it was not there so for example now I want to uh, choose the most popular thing is menu highlight color and menu background color by default this is the uh, color and I want to change it so I'm going to select a color for example I just want to uh, this color to be the background menu background color to be green so this green maybe just to see um, the change and I'm going to hit save changes and maybe I didn't really change the color so menu background color change the color to be uh, green okay so now I'm going to hit save changes check back again if it's green yes and this is the block which is having uh, the default uh, kind of black color here by default and if, if I refresh it it's now changed to green by clicking a very uh, simple button there in your dashboard so if you already watch my other trial which is changing this um, uh, menu background you actually can do that now with this plugin so without adding custom CSS but you can also do that but this is um, a more life saver to change this menu color and you can also change for example now um, menu highlights color you see that if I hover it it still have black color and I don't want that I'd want that to be maybe yellow 
just for example dark yellow here just to uh, see how it works now if I hover it still black but if I refresh my block and I hover it it's now yellow um, kind of dark yellow and orange here so that's how uh, this plugin does um, this color options you can actually choose uh, and play around yourself but now we're going to back to theme, ox uh, theme extensions tab here and now uh, you can also try this and uh, it's very nice um, options you can have for example like now uh, you can change the image header size and change this into um, the height as you like which is now you can also uh, use this plugin instead of um, changing or adding code in your functions.php file but for now we're not going to do this and then you can also the most important is enable this uh, widget sidebar on single post or even in pages so if I want that post and then save changes and you see that by default uh, WordPress doesn't uh, this 2011 doesn't um, give you sidebar on the post pages but now if I click on one of my posts you see that I have widgets now without adding any codes there so you see that now we have uh, this widget titles which actually not really align with this um, uh, list but if we now clicking on that center navigation um, sorry if uh, widget titles clicking on left line the widget titles and then save changes and refresh now you see that the widget titles actually will move to the uh, more to the left to be uh, aligned with this uh, list that's basically this uh, what this plugin does it's very cool and I uh, recommend it if you use 2011 theme or child theme uh, yeah I just want to uh, show you now I'm using actually uh, we go to appearance and you see that now I'm using 2011 if you check out my other tutorial which is uh, creating child theme I actually recommend to use the, your child theme which I already uh, created here and activate it and use the plugin to customize it so now you see that I'm using my child theme so you see my current theme is my child theme and I you see that I still have this theme extensions and if I go to theme options it still has my uh, theme option customizations. So if I refresh this block, it won't change anything. Instead, that I see logo here because I already create uh, my child theme. So uh, you see that this plugin will also work if you use child theme, which is uh, the best recommended if you use the default theme. Uh, in case the WordPress theme um, is updated, you still have your customization uh, like uh, adding logos so things like that so that's all guys and thank you for watching this video take care of yourself and see you in the next videos goodbye